This is an assumption question. The conclusion here is what follows the last clause here. The missing link is between all the information provided and the conclusion that analysis must have been written between these dates. The poem describes events that happened in 310 CE and the map that accompanies the poem identifies the city of Melitic as a functional city. It is widely accepted that this city was destroyed in 314 CE and therefore this conclusion has been reached that the poem was written between 310 and 314 CE. See, the argument rests on the widely accepted date of destruction of the city being 314 CE and therefore answer choice E that says that the widely accepted date for the destruction of the city is factually accurate. That it is not just widely accepted, it is also factually accurate. This is an assumption that must be made in reaching the conclusion mentioned here that the poem was written between these dates. Answer choice E strengthens the argument and it is something that must be true for the argument to hold. Negate it and check. You will find that the widely accepted date for the destruction of the city is factually inaccurate or the date cannot be trusted. Put this in the argument and the conclusion will go haywire. So this is a valid assumption statement, something that strengthens the argument and is also factually correct. Answer choice C neither strengthens the argument nor is it something that needs to be correct for the argument to hold ground. So this cannot be an assumption. Whether the history of this empire is the subject of any other ancient poems has no bearing on the conclusion. The argument is about whether this particular poem was written during this period. Answer choice B is a trap that the author of the poem intended to provide as accurate an account of the empire as possible is something that strengthens the argument but it is not something that must be true for the argument to hold ground. Even if the intention of the author was not to provide as accurate an information as possible, even if his intention was to provide fairly accurate information, the argument would hold. Please be very careful when you see such extreme tones in assumption questions as accurate as possible. Such extreme statements are rarely an assumption. Whether this poem in question is the earliest Mashak test whose composition can be dated to within a few years has no bearing on the argument. This neither strengthens the argument nor is it something that must be true for the argument to hold ground. E is the correct answer choice.